Welcome back, everybody. So, I got a few requests um, for the new trading system commerce thing. So, I figured that I'd go through it with you guys since I haven't really done it myself. Um, I only read about it on the wiki and it seemed a tad confusing and I think I got everything. So, don't quote me on anything. I'm definitely not an expert. It's kind of trial and error for me. So, let's see. First thing you have to do is find the trading post. And I think they are in every town now. This one, I'm in I'm in Dunbarton. So, it's like right here um, in the northern part of the town. So, we go over here and there are three kind of monsters here. The ogre which you can um, upgrade your transportation as you get more ducats. Um, there's the trade helper, which is the person you want to talk to right now, I think. And then the merchant. And the merchant, he looks a little crazy, actually. Um, but the merchant has all kinds of different goods and stuff, and I'll show you in a second. So first things first, we want to talk to Nako, the trade helper. Um, oh, hello there. Must be your first time at the trading post, yes? Here we sell goods exclusive to this town. You can purchase them and sell them at the trading post in other towns for profit. You interested in becoming a trader? Oh, but you don't have any ducats. And then he gives you 300 ducats to start out with. And then says that you need a little capital to do anything. Here, I will give you 300 ducats. Don't worry about paying it back. It's This is pocket change if you're a master trader after all. Money is something you can never have too much of. Alright, so, um, what he can, he can give you an explanation of, um, the tradings and stuff. Ducats are, it's pretty much like gold, except you can't trade it or drop it or anything, and it shows up right here under your gold and that's what you use to buy things um, at the trading post alright so what you want to do is hit trade and this window will pop up and right here is your backpack and as you uh, get better ranked as a merchant and acquire more ducats you can upgrade and the better the upgrade, the faster you go. So let's see. Um, and these are the items that you can buy. And see, some of them have ranks on them and some do not. Like this one, the Ogre Mask. You have to have at least rank 3 or higher. And that's the rank up here where it says Merchant Rating Level. And right now I'm level 1, so I cannot buy this. These are the only two that I can buy since they're highlighted. So let's see. How much are these? These are... How much? 53 ducats each. And right now I only have 300. That's kind of expensive. And these are extremely expensive. 220. That's a lot. Alright. So then we'll look at this middle section right here. For the spider gloves. Right here. These are the other towns that you can trade to. And these numbers over here, for some reason, they're backwards. So the red ones indicate how much profit you'll get from selling at the corresponding town. So Tara, if you sell these gloves at Tara, you'll get a 17 ducat profit. So 17 added to 53. I am not a math person, so let's see. So let's see. 53 plus 17. If we were to buy only one of these gloves, we'd get 70 ducats back. So we'd only make 15, 17 gold there. So it's, it's not a bad profit. It's a lot higher than any of the other towns. So, it's, it's from my understanding that the further away the town is, the more profit you'll get. Since Tara is so far away, you'll get a better profit. So, let's see this one. 
Oh wow. Um, if we were to buy a pair of these boots and then go and sell them at Tara, we'd get 27 gold profit. So you kind of have to pick and choose uh, how you want to do this. Um, so yeah. And with a backpack, since we only have a back backpack, we can only carry four slots. Um, four items. So these empty squares are the four items that we can carry. And if you look down here, it says um, quantity. You can only have one of one pair of these boots, and one pair of these boots takes up one slot. So you want to make sure that you have enough slots to carry all the things that you want. I don't know if some of them have more slots or whatever, but um, yeah. And then oh, yeah, the numbers and colors are mixed up. Blue was supposed to be the increase. Um, and for some reason red is the increased and blue is the, the the negative. So if we were to sell these gloves at Cobb, we would lose two ducats if we sold them back. Whereas if we sold them at like Belvest, we'd get eight ducats instead. So you kind of have to decide how you want to manage your ducats. So I don't know if I want to do this right now. But, um, if I were to do this, I would probably buy a couple pairs of gloves. Five is the most you can buy, and that would cost you 265 ducats. And so, being that we only have 300 ducats... We wouldn't be able to buy the boots, I don't think, if we bought five. So, we'd have to think about that. Sorry, this is probably, like, totally confusing. Um, it's still kind of new to me, so I'm kind of, like, iffy on this stuff. But, um, yeah. And do keep in mind that once you, while you're traveling, you can actually hit up all the, the trading posts in that town. I think there's only one per town. And you can go check out the trading post because the prices and such will change. Like how much gold or how much ducats you can get from from uh, selling the item. They change, I think, every 10 minutes. So what's high priced in one town might be lower in another. So as you go through each town, you want to make sure that the town you're headed to, the prices kind of stay high. And, like I said before, the further away it is, the more profit you're going to get. Alright, so then let's go over here to this little guy. He looks like a weirdo. He's near talking to himself. Alright, um, oh yes. So, while you are, uh, traveling with your goods, you will run into bandits. And they're, they're fairly weak. Um, at least the ones that I encountered while I was up practicing on my elf. They were pretty easy and I, I killed them in one hit. So, um, I think if you kill a lot of them, they will drop bandit badges. And those you can exchange for ducats too. And why do you want ducats? This is why you want ducats. You can buy these. These things. Like, there's a merchant outfit. This is for girls. It's a very interesting outfit. And this is only 2,500 ducats. You can buy phallus dew. I'm not really sure what that is. You can buy these red and blue stones if you want uh, upgrades. These, I'm not entirely sure what these are for. I've seen some people have them on their inventory. And these are just weapons, it looks like. They look like, uh, regular weapons. Huh, let me see if I have... Let's see, alright. My elf and longbow, 6 to 20. Oh yeah, this... The Fomor... Looks like the Fomor weapons maybe do a little more damage than the regular bot weapons. 
which is cool. So it's this one, 14 to 63. Oh yeah, this one does way, the full more damage one, way more damage. Cause mine is only six to 55 and the full more one is 14 to 63. So these are a lot stronger than uh, regular store-bought ones, regular store-bought weapons, which is kind of nice. And um, they do have really cool uh, new weapons, like this crossbow. I don't really use crossbows, but it was cool. What's this? A focada. That's nice. What's this? Cylinder. Oh, hurricane cylinder. Very nice. Earthquake cylinder. Tidal wave cylinder. What's this? Looks like some kind of axe thing. That's awesome. What is this? Executioner sword. Ooh. Oh wow, that's a huge sword. Oh, and I saw a super, super, oh, oh my god, a Highlander bow. Ah, I wish I had duck kids. I really do. I want a Highlander bow so bad. All right. So yeah, you can, you can get all kinds of junk, man. Highlander bow, wing bow, volcano, claymore. Highlander Claymore. It's kind of cool. Not too fond of uh, two-handed weapons, though, but... Limited time only. Ooh, these are so nice. These are new, I think. It kind of reminds me of the Trinity Staff. These are very cool. And then what's this? Mace of Mercy. Oh, well, that's really cool. I kind of like that one. Oh, it's got a skull on it. That's awesome. So yeah, there are all different kinds of stuff. What's this? Eliminate bandits one. If you take care of them. Ooh. Oh, these are expensive. Oh, you get a bandit enchant. So I think these kind of change like regular shop on what time is it oh it's gonna change in an hour so maybe we'll check again all right so yeah he's got all kinds of new weapons and stuff you can buy with ducats and then if you talk to this big guy right here he'll let you upgrade your mode of transportation which is it would be extremely convenient actually so let's see because um, mm -mm. you start off with a backpack and you have to walk everywhere and then for 3,000 ducats you can get a hand cart which is slightly faster um, I assume it's still running so it might be kind of the same and then you can get a caravan and I think the the fastest is the elephant Oh, and he repairs them too. He repairs the weapons that you get from here. From this little man right there. So it's pretty cool. I mean, I tried this on my elf and it was fun. Aside from having to walk from like Dunbarton to Tara. But, I mean, as long as you make a profit. Let's see if he changed. See if the prices change any. Oh, somebody bought all the the wool boots. So yes, do keep in mind that sometimes uh, when you go to a trading post, people will buy out um, some items. Ooh, Taurus 30, nice. People will buy out items and you won't be able to buy any. And if that happens, I think you just wait a couple minutes and um, they should have more, more in store. Oops, what happened? Close. And then let's see if his store changed. Oh no, I think I froze. Oh man. All right, hold on one second. There we go, okay. So for some reason, um, I kind of froze. 
And that's been happening to my guildmates too, but um, I just changed channels and then changed back and I seem to be fine. So if you guys freeze while you're doing anything merchant related, just change channels and change back and you should be good to go. Oh look, the colors changed. Let's see, ooh, a purple mace. That's sexy. Let's see what else. Purple earthquake cylinder, that's cool. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, I guess the colors do change um, at 12 every day, so that's awesome. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, masterpiece bow. This is one of the new ones too. That looks awesome. These are expensive, but they're so cool. Oh, and while I was looking through the limited time only stuff, there was this sword that had like poison on it. Oh, so cool. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm sorry if I confused anyone. I'm still kind of confused about everything myself. It's kind of just trial and error, try things out. Um, oh look, see, the, the boots got restocked, which is cool. Actually, I'm gonna buy a pair of these boots and head to Tara. Um, yeah, I'm gonna buy one of them. All right, so when you buy something, it puts it over here in your backpack. How much? I have 78 ducats left. So I can only buy one of these gloves. So I'll do that and then head to Tara. All right. So I got some stuff in my backpack. And then uh, I only have 25 gold. Begin trading. All right, so here we go. All right, so once you start, which way is Tara? Um, bum, 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 which way do I wanna go? I'll just go this way. So, when you first start out, you get a little backpack, a little chest, you can run around in, and you get a little friend to help you, keep you company or whatever. And that's this little box up here the little trade imp assistant person and so he doesn't really do much except talk an extremely amount an extreme amount and pretty much just be annoying uh, he will tell you though when there are bandits around and bandits usually like to dress in the rock costume or the tree costume and I'll, sh I'll, sh I'll show you if we come across one. Alright, so this button up here, the info button, it tells you what you're carrying and how much it weighs. It tells you how much you got it for, how many slots it takes up, and where you got it from. It does the same thing with all your stuff. So we are going to head to Tara. And you have to walk. You can't summon a pet. Uh, you can't take the moon gate. You can't even use the housing channel. So we have to walk all the way to Tara. So this will be an extremely long, long walk. What was that? Oh no! Oh crap. Okay. Alright, well I'm going to pause it here. And um wait for my connection to come back. I will continue this little trading post tutorial kind of thing when I get internet back. <laughs> Don't forget to comment and like and dislike and whatever else. And I will see you for the next part. Bye bye